Good morning, Lightworkers. It's Renny DeBeard, PEI's Medium, and these are your energy messages and angel messages for Monday, July 11th until Sunday, July 17th. If some of you have found that you are extremely emotional these days, that would be because of the energy around us right now. So sometimes the energy in the world makes those of us that are sensitive even more sensitive on different levels. And right now, it's just emotional. So in order to help with emotional sensitivity and high triggerable emotions, the best thing to do is get yourself to the beach, sea salt bath, uh, do a sea salt hand scrub first thing in the morning, have a little bit of sea salt uh, right beside your sink. And when you go to wash your hands in the morning, just take a little bit of sea salt and do a little sea salt scrub. You get a little exfoliation and you get a little bit of grounding and a little bit of easing of the emotional body. And as well, throw some crystals in your pockets, in your bra, in and uh, wear them around your neck, whatever. If you've got crystal earrings, even just holding onto a crystal when you're doing some meditation. And one last thing, <clears throat> try to either get the energy of the sunset or the sunrise in as well, because the colors and the rays that em are emitted from both your sunrise and your sunset, allowing them to permeate your eyes and, and come into your body is extremely healing um, on an emotional level. So just know that. Okay, so we're going to start with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, all right. Well, overall, I'm loving the energy of this week. I'm seeing a lot of green, and I know that immediately uh, hits the heart chakra. So it's going to be a heartfelt week, um, um, not on a a high triggerable emotional week, but just very heart centered. So do a lot of heart centered breathing and heart centered meditation this coming week, just to kind of um, give you that energy boost that you need. Okay, so today, Monday, July 11th. All right, we have the nine of swords. Okay, swords is about our thoughts. Okay, heavy thoughts, because this is kind of like a dark cloud hanging over uh, her head and she's just kind of sitting there and like oh no I'm a, you know it's almost this overwhelmed feeling so this card comes forward so it doesn't so when when we see the card and we know it's overwhelmed it's not telling us to be overwhelmed it's making us aware that sometimes we allow our thoughts to overwhelm us and we have to be more cognizant of that so don't be allowing these here fellas to stick around all day recognize it but ask yourself why am i choosing this why am i choosing overwhelming thoughts in this moment and whatever pops into your mind immediately that's what you need to work on clear it Ask Archangel Michael to clear those overwhelming thoughts and to return you to a feeling of peace and call Archangel Shamuel, the Archangel of Peace, into your energy field and ask Archangel Shamuel to escort you peacefully throughout your day, only to allow peaceful people, situations into your day today. So we'll do that. Tuesday, we have the Death and Rebirth card. So as you can see, when this card comes forward, it's the New Dawn card. Don't let the words uh, trick you up here, but it's new. It's, it's a new dawn. Okay. But it's in reverse, which means that we're having trouble letting go of something to allow that new dawn to enter our lives. I always like to tell people when this card comes forward, your toe is on the threshold of a new chapter in life. So don't hesitate to go through because we don't know what lies ahead. Like we don't want to quit five minutes before that miracle occurs. So you're almost there. So keep going forward. So as we come into Wednesday, we have another major arcana. So I should state that this is an emotional card um, or based on thoughts um, that this card and this card side by side are major arcana cards. And major arcana cards are major life changes and shifts that are happening. And 
Um, and let's face it, like every week is a new week. So every week we have to look at as being a new threshold. Every morning that we wake up, it's a bright, fresh new day. And that's what these cards are just reminding us about. So the moon is about very, uh, a very, very strong sensitivity level. Um, but as well, we happen to be coming into a full moon if you haven't just in case you haven't looked up at the night sky lately so what this card is reminding us is that yes we do tend to get a little emotional and and our energy fields tend to get a little bit um uh well, for me personally, full moon weeks can be a little bit challenging energetically. So that's why it's really important to get to the water. See the water there? Ground, ground, and ground some more. You can't do enough grounding this week. So get your shoes off and curl your toes into the grass or go for a walk on the beach. Remember what I said at the beginning before I, st I even pulled any cards about getting some uh, sea salt and grounding into your daily um, daily routine. And that will really help you. Coming into Thursday, we have the Three of Pentacles. So when we have the stoplights, right? This is like the stoplights. So, but it's it's come in reverse. Now, I really like threes. Um, threes are a sign that our prayers are being answered and that our prayers are actually being helped by the universe, okay? But when we come in reverse, and Pentacles as well, I should mention, are about abundance. But... When it comes in reverse, what I hear Spirit saying, what thoughts are you manifesting that could possibly be blocking the manifest, manifestation of abundance in your life? Okay. What thoughts? Are they fears? Do you have underlying fears uh, at any level about allowing you know, new things to happen in order to bring abundance into your life. Well, let's just clear that right now. Let's ask Archangel Michael to come into your energy field and with joy and with ease, remove anything and everything within your energy field, which you may knowingly or unknowingly absorbed or allowed into your energy field that is blocking abundance and manifestation of abundance on any levels. Let's pull that now. And let's ask creator to download you with the following. I easily accept abundance on all levels and in all directions of time and space into my life. And I accept the divine wisdom and understanding and comprehension as to how to use that man manifestation of abundance and how to use the abundance for my highest and best always. Thank you. And so it is. And following Friday, we have another pentacles and this is beautiful healing energy and it's it just friday is a great day just um lots of things happening and, and lots of new ideas and lots of self-expression and lots and lots of wonderful things happening with this card so coming into a saturday we have the justice card now this is another major arcana so you know to uh, three major arcana cards in, in one week like it's a heavy week guys like you know, it's it's a big week, right? So that's okay. Um, you just have to learn to go with the flow. You have to move with the energy. So justice is all about balance. And it came in reverse. So we have to get balance in our life. So are you too much work and no play? Are you all play and lost complete focus? And, you know, um, if, if you're like me and you're, uh, you don't... Uh, as a school teacher, I work 10 months of the year and then have July and August off, but I do do work during July and August doing different things. But uh, when I wasn't doing other things and I had the summers off, I would easily lose track of any kind of like what day it is in the week and your set my schedule will get completely thrown off so this card is just reminding us that we still need balance no matter what you're doing we have to have balance in our life and then coming into sunday we have the fool now this here is uh, she is almost at the edge of the cliff. And I always say this one here is, okay, just be careful that you don't, um, you know, it, it just don't jump off a cliff. Take your time, look at the situation and look at everything that's happening around you before you leap. 
this card is kind of like the the leap of faith card but because it came in reverse i actually it actually looks really pretty here with the, the beautiful synchronistic pattern there that's so pretty it looks like a beautiful flower but this card is just simply reminding us that we need to take care in all life choices right now is not the time just to dive right in without having a good look as to where we're going or what our next step should be so it's just uh, a stop and reflect before you know jumping in and that's what that means so overall the cards look absolutely wonderful for this week um, i'm just loving all of the green because again it's it's kind of like we're under an umbrella of an opportunity to heal this week and be very very heart centered just remember it go back and rewind this uh video to the beginning so that you realize that you have to um manage and work with the energy this week by taking a lot of self-care with your grounding okay all right, sending you off with a lot of love, light, and blessings for a powerful, positive week ahead. Bye.